from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. Prime Minister Minutes defending his administration's record. Four years into the FNM's term in office, the Prime Minister at the Sikandal Isaac's gym for his second coronavirus shot yesterday. And that is where reporters asked him about his party's record for four years. He told them hurricanes and the coronavirus pandemic derailed some of their manifesto promises. We could have concentrated only on the catastrophic problems that we face. But then what happens? The country stagnates. It don't move. We had to run two parallel tracks and move the two parallel tracks, ensure that we deal with the catastrophic problem, ensure that we deal, dealt with the growth, development, and expansion of the country. It was impossible to deal with all of what we promised within that one year, but be assured that all will be done. The countdown is now on till the next elections. No date has been announced for that as yet. It has to be called by May next year, but there is some speculation the Prime Minister may call an early election. The COVID-19 vaccination effort continues. Persons now getting their second shots in the capital and Grand Bahama. The vaccine committee confirming now that demand for the vaccine has flattened. Committee spokesman Ed Fields told reporters they could be getting another 30,000-plus doses into the country this week, which should give them some flexibility. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The Sunday COVID-19 numbers are in, and they're back up. 46 confirmed cases spread over four islands. Again, most of them in the capital, 35. Cases also reported in Grand Bahama, Andros, and Exuma. There was another confirmed death, an 85-year-old New Providence man who passed on May 9th. The death toll is now 214. Different views on the way forward when the current emergency orders expire on May 23rd. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands says the country is not in a good place. And he thinks restrictions should be tightened. The nurses' union, though, releasing a statement saying the emergency order should end, contending that the country must learn to coexist with the virus. A Bahamian pilot being held in connection with an estimated $1.6 million drug bust at Count Island. Immigration Minister Johnson hearing it from the Rights Bahamas group after he challenged a U.N. criticism of the government's shanty town policy. The group calling the minister's response to the U.N. inflammatory and reckless, among other things. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Partly sunny today. Highs in the mid-80s again. 85 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. High tide now. The next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. If it matters to Bahamian women, it matters to us. Read the Tribune's women's section every Tuesday for interviews, special features, and insightful commentary. It's the voice of women across the island. Strong, sassy, and sharp. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines. It doesn't happen very often. At least 11 persons have been killed in a school shooting incident in Kazan. That's a town east of Moscow in Russia. Russian police are holding the suspected shooter. The COVID-19 numbers in India are still being monitored. Infections remain below 400,000 again. The death toll remains below 4,000. Officials are hoping this is the beginning of some kind of control over the spread there. Tensions still high in Jerusalem following clashes between Israelis and Palestinians over housing. Tribune's gas track of prices for Tuesday, Shell 486, SO 494, Rubus $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Mike Strong putting on his Colts blue for the first time. He's now in the NFL officially starting work to try and make the team read about it and find out where Marvin Saunders is going to be playing football. It's official now. The Carifta games for this year have been canceled. Get the latest Major League Baseball news and the latest on the NBA now in the final week of the regular season. And the debate continues on whether the Olympic Games should be held. 
Get the latest in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. 